We are here at Indianapolis at Lucas Oil Raceway. We did our Sunoco Race of Champions race last evening, and this morning we're presenting trophies to all of our winners. Trophies and money. Your winner in the Super Pro category, Chris Bear. Chris, that was a fantastic final round. Uh, thank you very much. It's uh, an amazing opportunity and an absolute blessing to be here. So, so tell me about it. Uh, you were you were running a 475, and uh, Jeremy was out on you. He's out in front. Is it easier to be the chaser or the chasee? Definitely easier to be the chaser. That way you'll give the other guy a chance to red light first, and you've got him and your vision all the way down the track. Is that kind of how it goes? Exactly. Uh, I mean, it's, I'm a firm believer it's always easier to look forward than it is in reverse. Uh, so always having the race ahead of you kind of gives you a little bit of an advantage. How about racing a door car or another dragster? What's your preference there? Another dragster. Door cars are uh, typically a little slower, a little harder to judge at the finish line. So you caught him right about where on the track? Uh, I caught the gentleman about 470, 500 foot, and then just uh, maintained the brake and kept a little nose on him. So now you are the winner. You've got the trophy. You've got the money. Let's see. What else is it? You're going to Pomona. Yes, sir. We will be there. <laughs> That is so great. The very first time that a super pro race of champions competitor gets to go to Pomona to race in the World Finals. And here he is right here, Chris Bear. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Well, we've changed locations here. A little bit of showers coming through with our first presentation of trophies. But right here is our winner of our pro bracket in the Sunoco race of champions. This is Chris Stevenson. And you've been here a whole lot of times before in the race of champions, right? No, actually, first time here. And in a Buick. Tell me about that Buick. That is a Buick that I've had for 17 years. At 14 years old, uh, came in the driveway, first Buick Apollo I ever seen, and couldn't let it go from there. We, we talked about you leaving first or second. You said, I left first all the time because that's what I mostly do. So it's easy for you. Oh, yes, it's easy. I, I basically have to get used to it or else I'm going to have a lot of problems. Do you think the other driver's looking at your light and watching and going, oh, geez? Well, if they are, they're in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, future plans for you. You know, uh, graduate out of the Buick, go to Superstag uh, on the comp eliminator? Well, I'm looking at getting into actually, unfortunately, a faster car, so maybe I can go second a little more often. So, when you came here, and this is your home track at Lucas Oil Raceway, uh, first time in, first time as a race of champions competitor, did that sort of overwhelm you at first, or was it a case of, I'm going to win this baby? Well, actually, Dennis, coming into the event, my first thought was, don't show up and just be happy with being in the race of champions. You know, it, it is a great feat. I don't want to downplay the achievement of all other 18 drivers, but I came in with one focus to win and look past the fact of all the excitement of being in it and just do the job that needed to be done. Folks, this is Chris Stevenson, our pro bracket, Sunoco Racer Champions winner. When he came here, he was in it to win it. Congratulations, Chris. Thanks, Dennis. Well, once again, we've changed venues here, moving to a different location just because, well, we're still running races out here on Saturday night, and uh, the, we still have racers competing. So it's a matter of getting the camera guy, the guy with the microphone, and the racers together. With me now is Jonathan Vickers, who was our super pro bike champion. Jonathan, was it a hard race to go through or was it sort of routine for you? Uh, it was the toughest race that I've ever been in, so very nervous for me and just had to do my job on the line and run the number. And now, now how many how many years have you been coming to the, the, uh, the Summit Finals? I went last year and this year. Two, this is my second year. Second year, now you're in the race of champions and you win the race of championship. That's, that's a pretty good accomplishment, don't you think? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. So on, on this run, when you were racing Craig Adams, uh, you went 866 and a quarter mile at 149 miles per hour. So actually, you were the guy who was leaving first. Yes. Can you hear him coming up on you? No, I can't hear him, but it was kind of hard to see him, too, because his bike was all black and it was dark. So I thought yours was black. Yeah, mine's black, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I see a trend developing here. Okay, so any big plans for you to go on to something like... Your pro stock motorcycle or top uh, fuel Harleys or anything like that? No, I'm going to stay where I'm at. I just like to do it for fun and hang out with my dad. So, But you started riding these, these bikes at a pretty young age. 
Yeah, I was 12 when I first rode a bike. 12, and it, and it wasn't a Honda 350? <laughs> no, RD 350, two-stroke. Well, that's pretty cool. So, Jonathan Vickers, congratulations of a great accomplishment beating all these other guys here in the Super Pro Bike Race of Champions for Sunoco, and I'm sure we're going to see you again, so thanks so much. Uh, thank you. Well, we've changed the locations once again because, well, it's a new day here at Lucas Oil Raceway, and we are talking to Bill McCarty, who was the winner of the Sunoco Race of Champions and Sportsman. So, Bill, racing a truck. You, you haven't always had the truck, have you? Uh, no, I just got this truck at the beginning of the year about six months ago. 360 that runs really strong, I think. Yeah, it's actually a couple tenths slow in the eighth mile, so it should run 1250s, you know. But I don't know what the, if it's the weather conditions or what's slowing it down, but at least it's consistent. So. so th but this is not your first rodeo. You've been practicing here for a long time, and how many years have you been at Indy? Um, this is my 21st straight year that I've qualified for the division finals. And how many years in the race of champions? Um, this is my ninth straight year in the race of champions, but I've been in 17 race of champions races. So. Wow, that, that's an impressive record. But out of, those, out of those 17 times, I mean, you've been out there racing and racing and racing, and this is the first one. My very first win, and... I went through a lot of trouble with the truck this year. I've had a lot of breakage, and uh, we just got it uh, fixed up Tuesday before we come up here, and I didn't know if it was 100% fixed until my first pass on Friday. So uh, it was definitely rewarding to get the trophy. So you beat Tony, uh, Tony Sh uh, Schwab in the final, and you left first. Do you like to leave first? Um, yeah, I do like to leave first, but also – I love sportsmen because you get a mixture of both, you know, and, um, yeah, I, I love leaving first. So, I love quarter mile. So he loves leaving first. He loves quarter mile, loves the trucks, and now he's got his first win. So congratulations to Bill McCarty and your win here at the uh, Summit Race of Champions in the sportsman category. Congratulations, Bill. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So Bill McCarty, winner, and I'm sure he'll be back next year to defend that title. Well, here is our... Finalist and winner, Kay Crum, the high school champion here at the Summit uh, ET Finals at Lucas Oil Raceway in Indianapolis from Jamestown, Ohio, and Team Kill Care with a Ford pickup truck. How'd you pick the Ford pickup truck? It's a friend of ours, Pat Browder. Thanks, Sam, for letting us borrow it. So you borrowed a truck. You, you haven't driven this a whole lot, right? Um, no, I say I drove it about four times, four or five. Okay, so not a lot of experience in the truck, and today's win was just you just breezed right through everything, no problems, and everything worked perfectly? Uh, no, <laughs> I wish. We had a couple starter problems down at the finals. The starter stayed engaged and, well, finally got it fixed, but stayed engaged the whole time. So here's Kate Crum, our 17-year-old winner, with this Ranger pickup truck going uh, into college perhaps next year as soon as the scholarships come in. She's a senior right now, so congratulations, Kate. We'll see you out here next year, I'm sure. Yes, thank you. Three, this is Bill Leahy from Columbus, Ohio, and Pacemakers Dragway. Um, a lot of experience driving these Super Pro cars? Yeah, yeah, quite a few years since uh, 1991 in Super Pro. Tell me about this race car, Big Block Chevrolet. Uh, Big Block Chevrolet built by Mark Cook at Badman Motors. Chassis is? It's a race tech chassis. It's actually, a, actually an old unit. It's 1999. And it ran smoothly all day, no problems? Perfect. Right on the dial all the time? Yeah, just about. Just I was the driver. Uh, he wasn't too bad. Well, that's good. You're <laughs> a good combination here. Here's your champion. He's going to Pomona. This is Bill Leahy from Pacemakers Dragway in Columbus, Ohio, the hometown. Congratulations, Bill. Thank you very much. Here's our pro bracket winner at the Summit ET Finals at Division Three, And this would be Chuck Lewis. Has the 74 Duster 440. A winner representing Team Milan, uh, and your experience here at the bracket finals. Oh, it's obviously fantastic! <laughs> you know, it, the weather the weather uh, to start out with was terrible, but uh, it turned out to be beautiful, and uh, here we are. You know, winners. The winner for the first time. Uh, first time here. Yep, yep, yep. And how many how many times have you been here? You remember? Um, gosh, probably ten, ten times at least. Yep, yep. Made it down to eight cars once. That's the closest we've got. So. And the 440 ran flawlessly through to the other. The I'm sorry. The car, the car was fantastic. It was, it was a, uh, like it couldn't do anything wrong. So, it was, it was amazing. Well, this is going to be very great as we uh, have Chuck Lewis 
moving on to uh, the winner's circle to get those photos taken up here from uh, Adrian. Adrian, Ohio. Adrian, Michigan, excuse me, from Milan Dragway. And it'll be uh, looking forward to seeing you out here next year. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, this is Nick Hastings, our sportsman winner here at the uh, NHRA Division Three Finals at uh, Lucas Oil Raceway. This is Nick Hastings from Shelby, Ohio, representing Team Summit and a winner here today with this Mustang. Uh, a tough race for you, an easy race. Oh, it was tough all the way through, sir, with a lucky, a couple lucky rounds to boot. We all need a little bit here and there, though. So you've been, you've been coming here for several years. What, what, what have you done here at Lucas Oil Raceway in these Summit Finals? Win, runner-ups, and all those sorts of things? Well, fortunately, i got great teammates. So as a whole, we've always seemed to, we always seem to do pretty well. Personally, I've, I've won two races of champions and won the Division Three Finals twice as well. That's pretty cool. Tell me about this Mustang. Big block, small block? Small block, 302, nothing special. Nothing special. You're in the winner's circle here, yeah, buddy. I would suppose so. Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. This is our winner in the sportsman category, and this is Nick Hastings from Shelby, Ohio, and Team Salmon. We're going to look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Well, here's our Super Pro Motorcycle winner at uh, Lucas Oil Raceway, Indianapolis, at the NHRA Division Three Summit Finals. And this would be Rick Poole representing Summit Raceway from New Franklin, Ohio, on a Suzuki. Why a Suzuki, not a Kawasaki or Harley Davidson or an Indian? I was motivated by uh, Terry Vance and Pro Stock back in the, about 1980, and I just felt that they had a, a good advantage to motorcycle drag racing, and I've went with them, and they have had a great success with them. So you're going to uh, Pomona one more time. Um, how was the experience before? Well, that time I took some old, you know, an old school bike, and this time we're going with new technology. So, I don't know. It should be better if the not behind the wheel works. Oh, uh, I'm sure it will be better. You did you did really well today, and everything went pretty smooth for you. Easy race. Uh, we had a couple little ups and downs, but the bike was pretty much flawless. Yes, just just trying to get me adjusted right. So here's a guy who's two and one in final rounds here at the Summit ET Finals. Going to Pomona one more time. New technology this time. I'm putting my money on Rick Poole in the finals. Congratulations and good luck. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that.